Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Math. If you watched yesterday's video, I am back today to play a game of the trash can game with you. Just in case you were confused, just in case you're like, hey, I want to try this out for myself, you're going to get a chance to play with me right now. So if you want to do that, what you're going to do is see if you can print out the paper. I, I sent you a link in the description to print this out. And you're going to need something to write with. I'll take care of the cards and the game. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have the deck. I'm going to shuffle it right now just to prove that I'm not trying to mess around with this game. You just need something to write with and your paper. So if you can't print out this paper, just grab a piece of paper, make four boxes like so, and then a place for the trash. Let's play. Okay, guys, so I have my paper from yesterday. And we're going to be, well, you guys can make your game up here, but I'm going to put my numbers in this row right here. Here are my cards. I'm going to just shuffle these. I mean, this game is so hard to win. Challenging and fun, but so I just want to prove to you guys I didn't stack the deck to try to win here. I have no clue what's underneath any of these cards right now. This is not a magic trick. This is an actual game. Okay, so what we're going to do now is you grab your pen and your paper. Whatever I flip over, you're going to put in your boxes. I'm going to put in my boxes. No, we don't have to, you know, put it in the same box, especially if you think I'm going to lose. Like I definitely lost this time. So let's see um, what numbers, you know, what's going to be the biggest four digit number. What's the smallest number that's going to be in the trash. Tell me in the comment section if you beat me here. Okay. I'm going to leave it up to your honor not to cheat. All right, here we go. The first number is a seven. So if you were confused on how to play this game from yesterday, I'm going to walk you through this, but you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to. Okay, so remember, the numbers go from 0 all the way up to 9. So we pulled a 7. So if you think, like yesterday, 8 was the largest number. If you think 7 is going to be the largest number, you would put it here. Now, I know there's an 8 and a 9 in this deck, so I'm going to put my 7 right there. Because I want to have room for, if, if an 8 or a 9 is chosen, I want to save space for that. If I put a 7 here and an 8 or 9 is picked, then I've automatically lost. I will not have the largest 4-digit number. Okay, here's the next number. Now, you have to make sure you put the 7 down before... I pick this next card, or else that's cheating. So if you're playing with students, let them know that, that they have to put this number down before this card's picked. It's just the way the game's played. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I was saying that the king or the 10 can be a zero. So basically a zero was picked, and the nice thing about that is there's nothing less than a zero. So my students would cheer and clap if a zero was picked because there was nothing to really think about. They just automatically knew the zero went into the trash. Okay, so if a 10 is picked, I'm going to discard that because the 10 was the same thing as a king. Okay, do you see what I mean? I wanted to make sure we left room for that 9. So if any of you guys put the 7 right here, you guys automatically lost because... 9 right now is the largest number in the whole entire deck, and it has to be here. Okay, so the only way right now, if your paper looks like mine, the only way we can lose on this next card is if an 8 is picked. Any other numbers? We're looking okay. So let's figure out what this next number is. Okay, so it's a 4. Now here is the problem, and here is where you and I might make a different decision. We need to put a four down. If I put the four here, a three, two, or one is gonna to need to be picked to put it here. 
if we put the 4 here, a 5, 6 is going to have to be here. So this is where it's a tough decision. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and put your 4. Now the odds would say that if I put the 4 here, I have better odds. Because if I put the 4 here, a 3, 2, or a 1 will win. If I put the 4 here, only 2 cards can win. The 6 and the 5. So I'm going to go with the odds. I'm going to go with... The odds saying I'd rather have three cards to win than only two but hey if you guys want to put the four here and think that a five or six is gonna get picked you go for it all right everybody so this is the last card this is gonna determine who wins ready here we go there you go it was a two so give me a comment in the comment section if you put the same numbers I did so the largest number was nine seven four two Zero was in the trash. Congratulations, everybody that has this. We won that game. Okay, so hopefully you now have a better idea of how this game is played. I'm going to play um, four more games with you. So check in every day at 7 o'clock, um, 7 o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Time, to play with me. Okay? So I, we won this game. If you didn't win this game, come back tomorrow and see if we can win this one. Okay, everybody. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Math. I'll see you tomorrow. Can I get up again?